hi guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be filming my current makeup collection just so you can see what I have and as I build my collection you can see the things that I brought as opposed to what I already had before I brought new things so I'm just going to show you everything I have now this is all the makeup I've ever brought in my life I just started playing with makeup when I went away to school so that's why I really have absolutely nothing so yeah now a little disclaimer before I start this video, I am going to be picking all my makeup products out of a bag. And let me just explain to you why my makeup products are in a bag. So, I just came back from college and my makeup storage is in storage in D.C. So, I have to house my makeup in a Victoria's Secret paint bag. So, yeah, you know, that's my story for about that, you know gotta do what you gotta do okay so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna randomly pick everything out the bag so as I pull it out I will tell you the name and what it says on the packaging also everything that I have purchased I have decided to buy based off beginner videos by other youtubers so this is also good for beginners if you are a beginner like myself then this will be perfect for you all right so let's get started so the first three products that I have are the LA Girl Pro Concealers. So, wrong one. Mm -hmm. All right. In the color Fawn, Cool Tan, and Warm Honey. So, these concealers, okay, it, they're worth the hype. Let me tell you because I use this, I have it on right now, all over my face. I use it all over my face sometimes, and I definitely use it for a concealer. So, this concealer um, in fawn is the color of my skin tone so if you believe that you are in or around my skin tone this is the color that you would use yeah so yeah the next color cool tan I use for my highlight and it looks like this and then the next color, Warm Honey, I don't really use this one. I brought three just because I didn't know which one was going to be my skin tone color. But this one is extremely light. So this would be, I would use this for a dramatic highlight. I wouldn't use this for everyday just going out highlight. Alright, so those are those. The next product that I have is the e.l.f. Eyebrow Kit. And this is the only thing I own for my eyebrows. Like, my eyebrows, I kind of just get them waxed and then I use this to just fill them in. I'm not very particular about what I use for my eyebrows because they have a natural shape. So I don't really have to shape them much. So anything that just makes them look seamless and blend in, I'm okay with. The next product is the NYX Eyeshadow Base in the color Pearl yep that's that and this is just a shiny white base so it's good for when you're applying glittery eyeshadows because it will put an extra layer of glitter onto your eyes so if you're doing a matte look you can also use those LA Pro LA Girl Pro Concealers that I mentioned before and you could just put that on your eyelid as a base and it will serve as a beautiful base. The next product that I have is the e.l.f. Mineral Primer in this gold color. I use this for prom. I did do my own prom makeup and I wanted something that will provide a gold undertone to my makeup so I use this and this is what it looks like so it's just a really nice gold right here it's just a really nice gold and it just provided a nice primer as well as some glitter to my makeup like you see how shiny it is yeah it was really nice the next product that I have is the hard candy sheer envy primer shine free and it controls shine for a matte finish and this is the only primer that I brought. Um, it doesn't really work for me. I mean, it works as a primer. It does put a barrier on my skin. As far as the shine-free part, mm, maybe in the beginning of my day. But as we go towards the end, I find myself getting 
oily, but I know I have oily skin, so I'm not going to blame it all on this primer. Alright, the next thing that I have is the NYX Love in Paris um, eyeshadow palette in Mercier Ber Beto Cup. I don't know how to pronounce that, but I will let you see it. Yep. And it just has very beautiful shades in it. I love the packaging because I'm in love with bows. So, it just has very beautiful shades in it. And this is just one of the three, four eyeshadow palettes that I own. So, this is number one. The second one is the NYX Dreamcatcher Palette in Dawn to Dusk. And these just also have very nice shades in it as well. And these were a gift from a friend for Christmas, so I was very grateful when I got these because previous to this, I owned no eyeshadow. I owned one eyeshadow palette. I decided that I needed to change my life and do better. <laughs> okay, the next one is the NYX Dreamcatcher Palette in Golden Horizons. And this is also just a very nice palette that was also a gift. I do not know what happened to this color over here. I didn't do that. And just, I don't know. And um, as far as the pigmentation go, I think these have very good pigmentation. They're very good for beginners. You have some very simple colors. And then some very extravagant colors so you can play around in them. And that's what I've been doing. So yeah. The last one is a high-end product. It is the YSL Pure Chromatics. And yeah. So it's just four green eyeshadows and one, I mean, three green eyeshadows and one silver eyeshadow. And my aunt brought this for me. And you can apply these wet or dry. Wet if you want a more dramatic look. And dry if you just want a less dramatic look. The next product that I have is the Wet n Wild Fergie Collection. Center Stage. Fergie Center Stage Collection. And this is a in the color Rose Goes Goddess. Rose gold goddess jesus i cannot talk today okay so yeah and this i just use to you know highlight sometimes or just to add a little shimmer to my face and it's just a really pretty color and it looks like that the next thing that i have is the urban decay all nighter makeup setting spray and this I also used on my prom night. Now, I'm not really sure if it lives up to the all-nighter part, even though I was up all night, but I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea if it actually lasted all night. The next thing I have is the Maybelline, the Maybelline Line Stiletto Ultimate Precision Liquid Eyeliner in the color black is black and this is the only liquid eyeliner that I use I'm not a fan of liquid eyeliners because that's the one thing that I struggle with the most I could figure out how to do everything else but when it comes down to liquid eyeliner girl no it's not for me it's not for me the next item that I have is the fit me Maybelline Fit Me Compressed Powder in the color Toffee Caramel. And this is the only powder foundation that I own. And it does fit my skin tone. Sometimes it does make me a little bit look a little bit darker. But I think that's just because I was putting on too much. The next thing that I have is the Fit Me Liquid Foundation in the color 330. And this is the first foundation that I ever brought. And I have not regretted it. It's been wonderful, except for when I discovered the LA Girl Pro Concealer, I stopped using it, but when I'm going out, and this is what I use when I want a more permanent look. The next foundation that I have is the L'Oreal True Match in the color W7. Now, this was also a very good um, foundation. Only problem is... 
that it's the wrong color for me. That's the only thing about drugstore foundation. It's very, very hard to find your color. So this shade was just a little bit too light for me. But I'm pretty sure W8 would match perfectly. The last foundation that I have, I've had for a while, and I do not touch this because it is way too dark. I don't know what the people in Sephora were doing that day when they recommended this color to me. But this is the Lancome Ultra 24 Hour Foundation, I believe. But yeah, and it might have been good. I wore this on my C16 night so I have not worn this in a while I'm almost 19 years old so I don't touch this one all right so the next product I have is the Bene luxury powder which I had to get after I heard all the rave about it but just to make sure I liked it I did purchase a miniature compact little one instead of the big bottle and it also has a sifter in it so I do like that very much as opposed to the regular tube one not a tube container all right so the next product is the maybelline fit me concealer and i did just pick this up because lakia star said that she liked this very much i didn't have any problems with it it's not magnificent and it's not terrible it's average in my opinion I like the LA Girl Pro Concealer one more better. If I talk about this concealer anymore, I think you guys are just going to completely turn off this video. So I'm going to stop. So the next thing I have is a mascara. And this is the Maybelline Colossal Volume Express Waterproof Mascara in the Cat Eyes one. And I like this one because of the brush. It helps me just wing out my eyelashes and I like that very much. I do like to have them curl upward as opposed to anything else. So that's what I like to do with that. The next thing that I have is the Rimmel London Scandalized Waterproof Coal um, Pencil in the color Nude and Black. So these two I use on my waterline and that's how I get that desired look in there with these two. This color I use to make my eyes look bigger, and this color I use to make my eyes look smaller. So that's the trick with light and dark um, pencils. One makes your eyes look bigger, and one makes your eyes look smaller. I believe that's all I have. Oh, I did not mention my lipsticks. Okay, so lipsticks are next, guy. So the first lipstick product that I have is the Melted... The Too Faced Melted Liquefied Longwear Lipstick in the color Melted Chihuahua. And this I like very much. I don't like anything that's really matte. I don't like anything drying on my lips. So if it's kind of liquidy when it first goes on, I just apply some lip gloss over it and it works like a charm. The next thing I have is that is similar to the Melted, the Too Faced Melted Lipstick is the Glaze Lip Paint by LA Girl in the color I don't know it's the purple one <laughs> so I don't know what color this is it does not say oh okay no 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 we gotta start over I absolutely I have a pet peeve about watching videos on YouTube when um, youtubers do not swatch the things that they're talking about because there's no way I can know what it looks like if you don't swatch it so I gotta swatch it for y'all so that's Melted Chihuahua, if you can see that. Okay. And this is that purple lip color by LA Girl. Now I do mostly own nudes, purples, and pinks. I have not ventured on, oh, and two reds, but I have not ventured on anything else besides that. So this is that purple color by LA girl and that is not what I'm wearing on my lips what I'm wearing on my lips is up the amp by Mac Mac by Mac okay I'm gonna get my diction together eventually guys I promise all right so next I have three wet and wild lipsticks <coughs> 
The first one that I have is Vamp It Up in the color 91B. 919B. I'm sorry, guys. So that just looks like this. And I have come to love dark lipsticks. So you see how it almost looks black? I love it. In the winter time, I just, yep, yeah, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay, clearly you can see singing is not one of my talents, so we're going to stop doing that. The next color I have is called Pinkerbell in the color 968. And Pinkerbell is a little bit on the brighter side, so brace yourself. And it just looks like that. Okay. The next color I have is called Cherry Bomb, and it's in the color 918D. And this is a dark, deep red. I absolutely love that because I wanted a dark red, so I had to get something that was dark. Next, I have four Maybelline lipsticks, and guys, I absolutely love these. They go on so smooth, and they are just so pretty. The formula is beautiful. It is wonderful. I get so happy when I find another one of these shades that I like, and so far, I have four. So, I have two, three neutral shades and one pink. So, these are from the Nude Collection, and I have them in the color Maple Kiss. I'm going to show you what Maple Kiss looks like. And these literally live up to their name. So that one, oh my gosh. Okay. That one on the end is Maple Kiss. The next one that I have is Truffle Tees. And guys, if I'm wearing a nude, this is most likely the nude that I'm wearing. Because this right here is so beautiful. Like, okay, I'm going to start back up here. I don't even know if you're going to be able to see it because it's just that great of a nude. It's right there. Nope, nope. Right there. <laughs> Alright. So yeah, if I'm ever wearing a nude, it's most likely that. And it just looks so beautiful on me. Like, I love it. And then the last color I have is called Make Me Pink. And this is just a beautiful pink. Like, I before, previous to buying this, I have not found a pink that I like and mostly I'm going to stick it to the purples with this pink. I like this one. It's really nice. It's right there. The next color. Oh, no. Alright, the next brands that I have is MAC. I have six MAC lipsticks. So, gotta get started. Alright, so this is the one that I'm wearing right now on my list. This is called Up The Amp. And it just looks like this. And this was the first, 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 first MAC lipstick. That, no, I'm sorry. I'm lying. It is the second MAC lipstick that I brought. The first MAC lipstick that I brought was Velvet Teddy. And Velvet Teddy looks very, very similar to Melted Chihuahua. And when I realized that, I was like, no wonder why I like this color. But Melted Chihuahua is just a tad bit darker. So, this is Melted Chihuahua. Oh, gotta rotate. Okay. <laughs> and that is Velvet Teddy. So, they are similar. So, I realized why I like that one when I realized the similarity. Now, this next color is my signature color in the wintertime. Anytime I'm out and I'm looking bad with some dark lipstick on, girl, just know it is this color. This color is Film Noir by MAC. And it's just a nice, deep, 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 deep brown. And it looks so good. This color makes me, oops. This color makes me so happy. Okay, I don't even know why my wrist won't like cooperate with me. But yeah, that's it right there. I'll start showing y'all like this. Alright, so that's it right there. And it's just a very, 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 very beautiful brown. I love it. I live for this color. The next color that I have is Gleam. Ooh. No, I can't speak today. Oh my gosh. Alright, the next color that I have is Viva Gant. 
Viva Glam, Rihanna. And guys, I love Rihanna. If you can't tell, all those pictures over there are Rihanna. But this lipstick, she didn't do it with this one. Like I don't like it. I don't like how it looks frosty, and it is a frost, so I should have known that it was going to look like that, but I don't like it. So I do not wear this one, but it is part of my collection, and I am glad that it's part of my collection, because it does go to a good cause, so I'm not mad that I brought it, but as for the color, girl, don't buy that. But you can well. So the next color that I have is Beauty Glam Miley Cyrus, and this is just another beautiful pink that I have. And when I first saw this, I was like, whoa, what you gonna do with that? But, yep, I work wonders. So, this is Viva Glam Miley Cyrus. It's a beautiful pink. It's beautiful. Trust me, it is beautiful. I love it. The last color that I have is Riri Wu from the Rihanna collection. And the packaging, I live for rose gold. So I love the fact that these are rose gold. And these were limited edition. And her signature is also on it as well as the other two because they are made by these people. But the packaging, that packaging. Mm. all right so this is the last color this is a matte lipstick and it is so hard to apply to your lips it is so drying but we live with okay we live with these things so that is it over here on the end i don't even know if you can see it because i ran out of recipe okay let me show it to you like this so that's it right there and it's just a very, very pretty red. It is one of the only reds that I'll put on. Only thing that I don't like about it is it's so drying. But now that I have officially made my hand look like a paint store, <laughs> that is all the lipsticks that I own to date. When I get more makeup products, I will gladly let you guys know. I have just ordered some products for a very famous brand here on YouTube. So when I do get them, I will be doing a mini haul. So stay tuned for that. I'll see you later, guys. All right. So, guys, I completely left one of my babies out. And I use this one so much. It actually broke on me, and I'm so sad about that. But this is called Warm Me Up. And this is a, from the Natural Collection by Maybelline. So it looks like... Where am I going to watch this at? It's another pinkish tone on me, and it's just the one right here, oh, this way, this way, okay. right here in the front, right here. So yeah, that's another neutral tone. If I'm wearing natural tones, it's most likely these two first ones right here. So truffle tees and warm me up. Okay, couldn't leave on my baby. I love that one. All right. <laughs> Alright guys, so that's it for my makeup collection. I really, 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 really hope you enjoyed watching it. I know it's not much, but I am just getting started. And like I said, I want to go down this journey with you. So let me know if you want, you have some products that you want me to try. And I told you that I will let you know anytime that I purchase a new product. You guys will be the first to know. Unless I'm saving it for a haul. But eventually, you guys will know everything that I have. So I thank you guys for watching. I love you. Bye.